So what is going on guys, NandoPin73 here with another video and today we got a little bit of a different one. So we're gonna go more of the productivity route today with the iPad Pro and one of my most popular videos and my pop most popular series is basically how to efficiently like run Microsoft or Microsoft Office on your iPad Pro without you know feeling like you're getting a watered down version of the app and making you feel like you have a kid's version of a professional application, right? So obviously I've gone through all the different Microsoft Office physical applications and I've told you guys hey, the web version works way, way, way better than the actual dedicated native applications that are put onto the App Store. So I wanted to take that a step further and show you guys how to get Microsoft Office with full secondary monitor support with your iPad Pro, which you guys can see behind me right here. So I'm on office.com right now with all the different applications ready to go, and you can see that it's plugged into my iPad with one cable, and it's taking up that entire 29-inch ultra-wide monitor, guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and it's actually very, very intuitive, which I really like. And it's definitely a good solution, especially if you're an iPad Pro or iPad only user and you need to have some sort of Microsoft Office solution. So let's get right into it. So first off guys, let me walk you through how I'm actually doing everything here. So you, as you guys can see, I have the iPad Pro 2018 kind of just sitting there on a Satechi stand, which is really versatile, really nice, lets me put it as low as possible to the ground or to the desk. Then I also have a MX Anywhere S2 that I use as my mouse, right here. I have my compact keyboard by Satechi as well. And then if you guys can see all the way to the back, right there, that is my USB-C dock. So that's a 16-in-1 dock that not only has its own power, but also has PD power pushed into it. And that is the reason why I'm able to not only charge the iPad, but also use a secondary display all through the same dock and all through just the one actual cable. Because the actual HDMI is plugged in to the monitor directly into the dock, and then the USB-C is what actually lets it use the dock as an HDMI you know, transition into the, into the monitor. So that is how it's all set up. Very, very nice. I highly recommend this USB-C dock. So a lot of people have actually been trying to find that USB-C dock, but unfortunately they can't find it without uh, having its own power source and that's the one that I have. You have to make sure that these USB-C docks and Thunderbolt 3 docks have their own power source. If not, you're gonna run into a lot of issues, guys. I digress and let's continue. So again, the first thing you gotta do is make sure you have the Shift Screen app, which is down here. And all you have to do again is open it. The iPad Pro will recognize that you have some sort of external display plugged in, which you guys can see right here. There's a little AirPlay icon right there. And you can see that the whole monitor right now is this purplish color, right? So that lets you know that it, it has fully engaged the monitor and the monitor is ready to be used in full screen. So then all you do is you add. I'm gonna create a new window. I'm gonna pick Microsoft Office, which should be around here somewhere. Boom, right there. Press the plus. And then all of a sudden you can see that I have full Microsoft Office from edge to edge on a 29 inch widescreen monitor, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a beautiful thing to see. And I'm already signed in, so you can see on the top right corner I'm signed in, and then I just have access to all the different applications. And the beauty of the mouse with shift screen is that, yes, it has cursor support, and when you're actually using the actual website, you can see that there's a normal cursor, like a normal PC or Mac OS cursor. And then if you actually go out of it, you can see that the cursor turns back into that iPad OS cursor with a little circle. So you can actually go either way. You can go directly by using the mouse on the screen or the mouse on the iPad itself. But just to show you guys that it all works and it works well, we can open up a quick Word document. As you guys can see, it kind of it functions like a normal web-based application. So this I consider it very, very similar to a Chromebook situation. And it's just nice that we're able to actually just open it up, click on the screen, and then just start typing away. Hello. Don't forget to sub to, if I can type guys, to the channel. So again, you're gonna get a lot more functionality out of these web-based applications or web-based versions of the applications rather than going the native application on the App Store. As you guys have seen with my last videos, and I'll link that one first below, the, the native applications on the App Store for Microsoft Office are very, very watered down versions and they're enough to get a little bit of work done, but if you need a lot of serious work, then unfortunately it's not gonna work, especially if you're a big Excel person. But if we continue here, like I said, you can open up any of them. If you want to open up a new Excel one, new blank document, see how well it works with all the different functions that we mentioned before. And again, you have a full Excel sheet with all the different inserts, formulas, data, 
you can sort, you can review, you can also share files and make sure that if you are on OneDrive and you have basically that collaboration suite, then you can more than, then you can actually do this as well. The one thing that people have questions about is security. 2FA does work, but you would definitely need to reach out to shift screen to make sure it's as secure as possible. But from a function standpoint, it works perfectly well. So if I type in one, one, two, three, four, and then I do my simple equation. So this equals the sum of this to this. And again, I'm holding the shift key. So I'm using the keyboard and mouse like it is a regular computer. And then all of a sudden, boom, you get the 45. And again, it's a variable thing. So the equation will auto change as you change the numbers. So if I type in, boom, then you can see that the addition problem changes as well. And I just like this because again, it gives you kind of that illusion that the iPad Pro is getting to the point where it's gonna be your full computer. And we're waiting for Apple to release their own version of this secondary monitor support, but for now, this is by far the best way. And then you can even add more windows. So we can create a new window. We can find another Microsoft Office application. So let's open up Office again, open up a new window, and you can see they're side by side. And they work the same way as any other iPad app would work. So if you wanna make one larger than the other one, then you can actually do that and still have the Excel file on the left-hand side. And again, move it back to the middle and you're good to go guys. So, and then if I want to open up, let's say Outlook, it does work. And then all of a sudden, boom, I have Outlook on one side, Excel on the other side, using data transfer, being able to read one thing and use the other, kind of like a little duo situation. But that's pretty much shift screen in a nutshell with Microsoft Office. And this is the best way to get a desktop type experience when it comes to Microsoft Office off of the iPad Pro itself. Because you can see that the entire 29 inches of this monitor is being taken up and it's being taken up crisply, it's being taken up well, and there's no lag. And even the FPS, even though it's at 24 FPS, which I believe that's what it is, correct me if I'm wrong, but it still works well and there's no lag whatsoever. So definitely take a look if you guys need an office solution on your iPad Pro because this is a great way to go. But let's get out of this view and uh, finish up the video, guys. All you have to do, swipe up, and then boom, all of a sudden, there you are. So that's pretty much gonna do for this video. Like I showed you guys, a lot of the functionality is there. It's as if you're, again, in the Microsoft web portal. And what Shift Screen allows you to do is expand that four by three aspect ratio or that three by two aspect ratio, I forget which one it is exactly, and lets you basically use up the entire screen without it being elongated and stretched out. So I really like that. And again, you can have multiple things at once at the same time. You can have an Excel, a PowerPoint, a Word. I think you can have up to four different screens on the one screen itself. And then you can actually add a secondary monitor. So you can have up to eight different things running at the same time. And that's the beauty of Shift Screen. Again, it's a workaround still. Shift Screen is still not perfect, but it's a great workaround to allow you to use web-based apps on your iPad Pro because your iPad Pro is more than capable to handle those types of tasks. So hopefully this helps somebody out. And like I said, there's definitely more apps that I can review on the Shift Screen app. Like we can do the whole Google suite, we can do the whole iWork suite. They have Slack, they have a bunch of different web-based applications that work perfectly well on Shift Screen because it's a web-first application as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna have Shift Screen as well as all these different desk accessories that I showed you guys before, all linked in the description below. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace.